Hello everyone. Well, where I'm located, it is hot actually, but then again, it's late July and it should be according to what I know in my life. So, um, I've been watching a lot of things, uh, checking things out and it's just complete and total chaos. <laughs> complete and total chaos. You know, when you reach 50, you get to um, do some reflection. And there's a lot of moments where you're like, God, I wish I knew in my 20s what I know now. What I had done so much differently. But then it took those 30 years for me to understand. And that's why it's so scary that they're using the younger people to steer us because they have no life experience at all. I mean, when you really think about it, our time here is very limited. So they certainly don't have much experience or a history behind them to see the patterns. You have to live long enough to see the patterns. We've been taught to be a world of pretenders. We follow pretenders. We worship pretenders. Ones who put on the nice clothes and live in the nice houses and have all the fancy words and the fancy cars and perfect looking families singing music that we like or an actor in a movie or an actress or some silver tongue politician. We've been taught to follow the pretenders. And so we've become pretenders ourselves. <clears throat> Chasing the things that we were told we were supposed to chase believing the things that we were supposed to believe. That if we did this, then it would mean that. And if we did this, then it would mean that. And the TV has been telling us a very long time what's true and what's right and what's wrong and what's bad. But now it's gotten a little bit crazy because the things that they're telling us that are true and good weren't true and good, you know, not that long ago. So it's becoming a little bit more obvious, but some people are still missing it. Do we really actually know who we are? Do we actually know where we came from? Or are we just believing the pretenders? Is our history actually accurate? I mean, look at what they're doing now. There are churches being burning down. There are statues being taken down. And I'm not saying that that history was actually completely accurate in itself, but we don't even have the markers for the lies. If they were lies, we don't have markers for the truth. If they were the truth. They're getting rid of the markers, the proof, the things that are solid and material that we could look at, whether it be a book or a statue or a building, so that one day they can tell our offspring it didn't even exist. Like we didn't even exist. I had a conversation with somebody about, you know, as it says in the Bible, is it Ephesians 33, that God is not a God of confusion, he's one of peace, I'm paraphrasing, this is nothing but confusion, so it's not of God. 
And for those of you who have rejected God, understand that it's the humans among you that are causing the problems and yourself. I've caused plenty of problems for myself. There's something called a gut feeling or your gut instinct or your sixth sense. I just want you to listen and you can take this or leave it, but that gut feeling for me has usually been correct. Unfortunately, I've ignored it most of my life because I was taught that you should not be judgmental of others or situations. Do not ignore your gut. It's the truest thing you have to the truth or what is right or wrong. So when they present things to you and it just doesn't sit well with you, go with your gut. When you see something and it doesn't sit well with you, go with your gut. It's your connection to what I believe is the truth, your soul. We're in limbo right now. This is pure chaos, which is very unsettling for me. I'm praying for all of us that we pull through this in our civilizations across the world. But don't ever let them tell you not to be judgmental. And don't ever let them tell you you're being silly. Trust yourself and develop your relationship with that higher being that exists. Because we're all going to need it and to have faith. You know, ignorance is bliss, right? I left bliss a long time ago. And it's getting somewhat exhausting. But I will not give up. I will have faith. And no matter what, I will continue to do what is right. And I have a feeling that those who do the same will be taken care of. Even if that means eternity after we leave here. So, hang in there. Make the most of every day. Life does go on, but don't harp, get hampered down into the material things. And pretending. Stay true to who you are and what is right. Love to you all. Bye for now.